I'm very pleased to introduce Dr. Lauren Phillips, Hi. who's the Dean of Faculty for English, and she's here with us tonight, and we are doing a creative collaboration together with for English, which I'm very excited about. And we're going to be talking about um, overcoming fears and stresses of writing and research. And then after that, we're going to, we will have time for a writer's workshop. And some of you, I have your papers to go over with you. And we'll have time in the library. Hi, everybody. I'm really excited to be here with you guys tonight. It's such a special treat, because I'm actually from Virginia. So I had a very, I, I teach too, so um, I'm teaching on ground. I teach at the Loudoun campus in Virginia. This quarter I'm teaching technical writing. I bet you're standing here thinking like, wow, their Dr. S has her PhD in English, and oh my god, Dr. Philip has her PhD in English. We must be really good writers, right? Yeah, you know, it must be easy, yeah? Super easy. They don't have any problems. They don't have any struggles, right? Totally, we just sit down and it flows like magic, right? Sorry, folks. I don't care if you're Shakespeare. I don't care if you're Dr. S. I don't care if you're me. Writing is hard, folks, you know? And it takes time. Yeah, you know? I have brought with you guys, I, I brought this. This is a piece of my dissertation, right? What I like to do with my classes, you know, I say, look, I, I give you feedback all quarter long. It's your turn. You get to get me back, right? You go ahead and critique it, and they find all kinds of errors, right? There's grammar. Look, just, just look, right? Look right in first. There's grammar errors. There's really long sentences. Those big words. What do you think of those big words, right? What is she talking about? Like, who can understand that, right? It's a process. It's a, it, and, and, and it just keeps on going. Um, this piece that I did, I wrote, you know, when I did my dissertation, um, so not that long ago, right, a couple years ago, but this actually started from paper that I wrote when I was in college, sitting right where you guys are. That was the first draft of this, and, you know, you keep it, you think about it, and you improve your craft, right, maybe you start here, and then as you go right through your classes, you get here, 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 and all of a sudden you're here, right, and it grows. So, you know, it's okay if you sit down and it's not perfect and you struggle, it's hard. Yeah. So it's, it's like writing a book, right? Because you go from being a student where you're writing, you know, maybe five page papers and then 10 page papers and 20 page papers, all of a sudden you have to write a book, right? On a brand new idea that nobody's ever written before. So that's pretty scary, right? Kind of like writing your paper in 215, writing on a brand new subject. How am I gonna write a 10 to 12 page paper, right? feels pretty overwhelming. Can you imagine? I felt so scared. And I spent so much time planning and brainstorming and free writing and researching. And I think it took me about two years, right? I'm so excited. I'm getting ready. I'm writing my first chapter. I've got my framework, my outline, all that stuff is done. I'm ready to turn it in. Guess what happens literally the night before? And guess what I discovered? Somebody else had written my idea. <laughs> And I didn't know. I, I didn't know at all. And I said, can you imagine? I had spent two years planning this, and I felt devastated. I said, oh my god, what am I going to do? Here I might. It's due tomorrow. What am I going to do? The whole thing had to be trashed. And I was so depressed. I was so upset at that moment that I almost gave up. I, I really did. I almost said, you know what? And then I said to myself, no, right? You don't throw in the towel because what does what some graduate school mean, right? All of this coursework, all of this time, all of this effort and emotion, right? It means something to you to do that work. All of that work down the drain, not acceptable, right? So I said I could either cry and get upset or I can put that energy in doing it again and maybe it'll be better than the first time, right? So, it, you know, I'm not gonna say it was easy, it wasn't. Um, but we moved on, right? And the second and the third chapters went pretty well. And now it comes time to write my last chapter. That chapter was over 50 pages long. I rewrote that same chapter six times. And the feedback I got each time was, you know, no, this just isn't good. This just isn't ready, right? It was, I felt so crushed. I felt so devastated. Here I am, I've gone through all of this trial, this heartache, I'm at the end and I just can't get it done, right? But that was another moment where I said, you know what, yep, writing is miserable. I hate this, but I'm not going to throw it away, right? I'm gonna keep going. 
and I got to defend my dissertation. And sure enough, here I stand, right? Fulfilling my dream, and I get to be here with you guys teaching classes, which is what I went to school to do. So it was miserable, and I hated it at times, but in the end, it was amazing, and I don't regret a single second. Uh, Dr. Phillips was here for a meeting, and we decided to collaborate to really talk about this. She told you her, your, her story, and I just want to tell you my story because it's not easy for me to write either. I've grown to become a good writer, but it took a lot of effort, and I still need to do that. So I want to talk about overcoming my own writing and researching blocks. I, in 1985, I was married and I had one daughter, Catherine, who was eight months old. Do you like my glasses? Pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, there I am. I was married, I had a baby. I decided to go to school, so I started school. So, I decided, okay, how am I going to manage this? The first thing was I needed excellent and affordable childcare because I had a little girl. So, I got that squared away. Then, the fear part was horrific. I, my first course was called the American Romance Novel. I, had, I felt like I had landed on Mars because I had no idea what they were talking about. They were using all these big words. You saw Dr. Phillips' piece there. I didn't understand the terminology. I thought immediately, I can't do this. I'm too old. I don't know. They're all knowing all this stuff. I know nothing. I was totally stressed and freaked out. So I had to decide I'm going to do this, and I had to overcome those fears. The other thing I had to do is I had to manage my time. And so I had to figure out, okay, so what can I do in a life that's crazy? How do I manage small chunks of time, and how do I get larger chunks of time? What night could I go to the library? What could I do if I had a half an hour? When I needed to write a paper, how could I manage my time? So I just sit down the calendar and do that. Then the other thing I had to do is I had to put on blinders, just like a horse. I had to give up things that I didn't want to give up, but I just had to decide, okay, I will do my family, I'll do my job, and I'll do school. The other thing I was advised to do, which was one of the smartest things anybody ever told me to do, they said, pick something from the beginning, a theme, an idea, and use it throughout your schooling. The other thing I had to figure out is how much is too much research and how much is too little. And I also had to be willing when it was not enough to get help from the librarians. So I had to really figure out the whole research thing. The other thing I had to figure out is I had to figure out the writing process. Dr. Phillips said earlier that she had to rewrite a chapter six times. She said she spent two years working on something that she had to dump. I was spending all this time editing the great stuff that I thought it was, and then I would end up having to cut it from the final portions. So I had to learn, when do I rewrite, when do I draft, when do I revise, when do I proofread, when do I edit, when do I show it to somebody, et cetera. So I started with that little girl in the backpack. <laughs> she was eight years old. Here she is. And by then now, she's got a sister and a brother. And I made her go with me to the office to drop off. Ladies and gentlemen, I found it. Here it is from 1994, onion skin paper, in a plastic bag. I kept it, why? Because this is eight years of my life, all right? So keep some of your artifacts. So what did you learn from your process? I learned that writing and researching is just so amazingly stressful and difficult. And I don't care how long you do it, you got to revise. you got to redo, rethink. It's constant, 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 but it's marvelous when you finally are able to hold your products and show up your degree and be a role model for your kids. I mean, come on, and proud of yourselves. I think we should go down to the lab and just blow it out. What do you think? I think so. I think that's a really good idea. We're going to go down to the lab. And we're going to do a free write, a time free write, and you're going to get out everything about why writing truly sucks mm -hmm. and researching. And then after that, we'll go from there. So let's get out of the lab and we'll do that.
I want to hear these ideas. What do you right. think? Absolutely. I think we need to hear them. That's dancing. Time is up. That's the done dance. You just go around row by row and just state a couple of things about what you're, what you're playing, what you've got to work on tonight so that we can kind of um, share with each other and make one another accountable um, for the evening. And so that we know that you're going to start, when we go down to the library, you're starting unblocked. <laughs> Amar, say so start. Um, to correct my mistakes from the uh, assignment that was recently due. Okay. And after when I do that, I will start my research um, on the next assignment that's due. Perfect. Next week. That's awesome. Lisa. To complete my unfinished paper that I've been stuck on for almost two weeks. Okay, perfect. And and we're going to get you unstuck. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. Right? Do you feel Team. less stuck? Team 215, unstuck. Jackie. Oh. Finish tonight on my assignment. Okay. I, I I have revived all the two papers that you grade that have been revised and, and corrected. Ingrid. Um, go for my last paper. Um, correct the mistakes so I don't make them again. Um, and outline my uh, thoughts on paper around the solution part of my paper. Excellent. Okay, so so great. So we have a game a game plan. And I think what we need to do now is um, wrap this portion up. We'll reconvene in the library. Uh, thank you thank so you much. It's wonderful. You guys, thank you for letting me be here with you tonight. It's been so much fun and getting to know you guys and hearing about your process. You're going to be amazing. I know it feels stressful right now, but I'm telling you, in week 11, when you've got that monster done, you're going to be like, I guarantee you, it's going to be a really proud moment. So. Enjoy it now and get ready to celebrate.